Hello, I'm Liv and today I'm going to be doing a come read with me for the week video. I've never done one of these videos before where it's like come with me for the week reading vlog. Uh, so I just thought I'd do one because I'm back at uni. I'm not too sure how many books I'm going to get read at uni like whilst I'm here. But I'm getting out of my book slump and I feel like the best way to get out of a book slump is like to do a video on reading on books. I finished Ignite Me and so I love this book it was amazing by the way today is the first of october as well no second of october so i've already read my first book of october and look at the spine cracks oh, lovely so the next book i'm reading is a, the next one in the series which is restore me by sahara Mathi. and then the one after that i'm going to read is defy me and then that's all the chatting book i have so far i still need to get imagine me and then i need to get the three novellas and um the three other novellas and I think that's Believe Me, um, I don't know, Find Me, and then there's another one. Uh, but those are all I need to get. They're on my birthday list, so I will be able to read those in November. I'm very excited to read this. So this one says, The Past Will Not Forget Me. And this one, it sounds like she's like losing control of her powers, like it's going a bit crazy. So it's very exciting. And I feel like Ignite Me was a real turning point for this series. I really enjoyed the first two books. I feel like the second book was a bit slower than the first one because it was quite a bit longer but I'm really excited for Restore Me because Ignite Me really was a really good book. I'm still struggling on what to rate it. I feel like I'm like a 4.75, maybe a 5. I'm not too sure. I'm going to read this today. Hope I can get through quite a bit. I've got uni today. Right now it's quarter, almost quarter to 12. I have uni at 3 so I need to get into my dance stuff. I've got uni at 3.30 and I need to get downstairs for 3 and then I can set off. But I need to get to my dance stuff about 2.30, so I've still got some time. I'm going to have some lunch as well. And then I'm going to also read this now. Hopefully today I can get through 150 pages. That's my aim for today. And um, I really want to feed this, well, I want to finish this book this week, so I want to get on to the next one. And I've also got some other books I want to start reading. These are all the books I have with me. And then I've also got, okay, I just threw it away, it's fine. And then I've also got my stuff on my Kindle. So the other books I've got with me here, which I brought, were Terms and Conditions by Laura Asher. I was meant to read this, Lauren Asher. I was meant to read this last month and I didn't end up doing that. So I need to read that this month, Defo. Some people say it's really good as well. I read Six of Crows last month. I spoke about it in my so wrap up, so go check that out. Um, but I need to read this. This is the Crooked Kingdom book, which is the second book in the Six of Crows series. These ones are always quite thick, but I love these, they're fantasy series. It's a fantasy series. And then I have another series here, which is a two-part series, a duo series, which is the They Both Die at the End and The First to Die at the End, which are by Adam Silver. And then The Crooked Kingdom is by Leah Bardugo. Very excited to read these. This one is quite, quite manageable and then this one's a bit thicker, but apparently they like destroy you, especially the second one, which is this one. So I got those on Amazon because my friends recommended them to me and they were like bawling their eyes out over them. So I'm very excited to read them. Hopefully I can get onto those, but yeah, I've got all these to read and hopefully I can get through some of these in this video. Uh, I really, really hope I can get through more than just the two Shatter Me books because I've got most of my day off on Wednesday. I'm in for three hours. And then at night I read quite a bit anyway. So yeah, I'm gonna get started on the chatting book and then I'll update you where I'm up to. And uh, my goal this week is to get through Defy Me and Restore Me. And hopefully one of these I'd like to get halfway through. Okay, I've not been reading for too long. I've been reading for about, I'd say maybe half an hour. And so far I'm on page 63 isn't too bad if like we're making decent progress and I'm very much hooked I'm very much interested and I'm liking it so far so right now obviously we're picking up from the last book if you've not read the last book do not watch this video because it may spoil the end of the last book everything happened with the sector 45 and Julia is now in a position where she's not quite sure if she has made the right decision by doing what she did. She doesn't know if she's done it at the right time. She doesn't know if she regrets her timing, if she should have thought this through a bit more. People around her kind of questioning her and saying, maybe we should have waited. And she's like, well, it's a bit late for that now. Like everything's done. So it is kind of like that. And I do feel bad for her because it just seems as though everybody's kind of looking at her for the answers. And she's just a 17 year old girl at the end of the day. Like she doesn't actually 
having life experiences. She was in that ward for so long, being locked away for basically a year. Throughout her entire life, she never completed high school once or did anything. She was constantly in different hospitals with people trying to fix her and figure out what was wrong with her. And it was just, she doesn't have enough life experience to be doing this. Look, they don't have chapters, it seems. Yeah, there's no chapters. So this book, it's Duel's perspective. So throughout all the other books, we've only got Juliet's perspective. But this book, we've got Juliet and Warner's perspective. So it flip-flops between the two. So it'll just have a page and it'll just say like, Warner or Juliet and it just flip flops between the two. It doesn't matter because we haven't had Warner's perspective once in this book series. really want to get to page 150 but if I can I'd love to read 200 pages today. So far I'm enjoying it and um, making decent progress. <laughs> Okay, update. So, I did really well with this book. So, I'm just gonna hold you. Okay, I'm up to page 200 and I actually have no clue. Where am I up to? 215, which is really good in one day. 215 pages in two settings is not bad for the day. So I'm gonna go to uni now, I'm gonna get dressed and then I'm going to um, go to uni do my course for three hours, come back, have dinner and everything, and then I'll pick up my book again. I'm hoping I can read a lot more tonight. I feel like I could finish this book today, and if I do, that's absolute slay, can't even lie, because like, I'm getting out of my book slump right now, and I'm so happy about it. So I'm gonna read some more tonight. I'm gonna try and finish it. I'm gonna try and finish it, because tomorrow I've got uni for quite a lot longer, so I won't be able to read as much, and I wanna get on to Define Me, which is the last one of the Shatney series I have so far. I need Imagine Me, Believe Me, and then the other two novellas. Where I'm at, I'm really liking this book so far. It's really good. So there is some secret that we don't know about Juliet that Warner knows and Castle knows. And I'm very like, intrigued about it. Kenji has a crush, which is the funniest thing to read about in a book that is so serious. Like it's just so funny to read about the like the small things. Like Kenji having a crush on someone who has no interest in him. It's hilarious. This guy who usually is just like so sarcastic and a force of nature is all of a sudden like gooey eyed and so like unable to talk around this woman because he's he likes her so much it's just the funniest thing in the world <laughs> wanna stop Warner and Juliet have like a thing like there's like awkward tension because Warner knows something and I need to know what it is and Castle knows some secret which is really doing my head in because like just say what it is I want to know okay I'm back to me and I'm pajamas and everything because I'm tired so I'm on page 225 now, I just read a chapter and it's really, really good. I'm actually in shock though. I'm like a bit confused on who Juliet, Juliet actually is because right now it's apparent that she's not actually Juliet. She's not actually, I've been telling that she is the whole time. There's some big secret. I can't finish it tonight because I'm really, really eager to find out what's going to happen. I'm not going to rush it because I want to enjoy it. It's in a bit. This book is actually destroying me. I'm heartbroken, but I have a feeling everything's gonna get better soon. I'm really hoping so anyway. I'm at page 200, no, 303. I love this book. I'm gonna finish it tonight. I've decided it's my mission. <laughs> right, okay, I'm really oily and I don't even care. That book, I've just finished that book. It is currently 20 past 10. I'm in shock at the ending of that book. That was absolutely like, and mind F, like what the hell just happened? Oh my God, that was actually like crazy. Like I actually was not expecting that. I was like, wait, what? And then the truth came out and oh my God, I'm actually in shock. And I'm so, I'm so like, oh my God. I'm so like conflicted, like what the hell? I've got one more book to read of the Japanese series that I have. And then I'm gonna have to wait till December, no, to November to get Imagine Me because Sam's getting me for my boyfriend. <laughs> oh my God, words are not wording right now. Sam's getting me Imagine Me for my birthday alongside Unite Me, Find Me and Believe Me, which are all novellas. So I can't even finish this series until November. You don't read books that quickly. Like, I've been in a really big reading slot for ages and 
it's been ridiculous like ridiculously bad like last month i read six books and three of those i read in the same week because i realized that i i just like i like reading still so <laughs> it took like three weeks to read three books which is insane for me i'm gonna start the next one tomorrow i think i think tonight i need to get my eyes a rest i say that but i'll probably end up picking it up later on not gonna lie Tomorrow I'm at uni from 8.45 in the well 8.30 in the morning until 3.30 and then I need to go do some bits around town so I'll probably get to read my book for a little bit so my aim for tomorrow is to read I'm gonna say maybe 100 pages 150 pages and the twist at the end was insane definitely think Ignite Me and Restore Me are the best books so far out of the Chatham series so the books I wanted to read this month so we've got Crooked Kingdom which is the second book in Six of Crows Terms and Conditions, which is the second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. I've been wanting to read this for months, I just haven't picked it up. And then I've got these two books here, which are, they both die at the end and the first die at the end, which are a duo series, which my friends told me they um, sobbed at, which I'm really, really wanting to read these. So I might read these this week, to be fair. Hello, it's the next day. It's currently Tuesday and I can't believe I finished that book yesterday, I'm actually quite <laughs> in shock, but if a book really enthralls me, like, I just can't put it down, so I really couldn't put that book down, um, I'm ready for dance, hence the leather, it is chucking it down, like, the rain is, it's here, so definitely a book reading day, very nervous for this book, because if you've not read any of the Shabby series, please do not read, watch this video, because it will ruin it, the end of the last book, we got, spoilers by the way, spoilers, the end of the last book, Juliet, we found out wasn't actually Juliet, we found out her real name, which was Ella, and we found out some things about her, about her past, about who she truly is, because she's not who everyone said she was. There's a different name, different identity, the truth about who she was and her parents and everything comes out, and it is incredibly shocking. And now she has been taken, and I have a clue where, so I'm really nervous. However, this book is really short this is 350 pages i think 363 pages in this book that's a hell of a lot shorter than all the books in this series apart from shatter me which was incredibly short as well and the writing is relatively like big not crazy big where it's just like like an easy read but it's it's quite big so like it's not going to be too hard to get through i'm really nervous about what's going to happen with warner and julia because they've had a fight in the last book which was really sad and it was quite heartbreaking to see warner's reaction like we saw warner emotional and that like broke my heart i'm really nervous because i really love him and Juliet together so I'm really hoping that everything works out. 11 o'clock at night. I haven't read anything all day. So I had uni and then I decided to go out shopping with my mates for a bit. And then by the time I got back and we made dinner and everything, it was like way too late to even start reading. So I've not read anything. The plan was to read and finish Defy Me, but I haven't even had a chance to even pick up this book. So it's a better line. I'm going to read some now. I'm hoping to get through 100 pages. This book's about 300 or so pages. 300 and 356 pages. Hoping to get through 100 pages tonight. That's going to be my aim. Let's go through 100. Tomorrow I've got most of the day off, so I'm going to go grab some cargoes from Bershka. I'm going to go have a look in store because I got some from Shadows Fair, some black ones, and they were like really denimy and tight around my thighs. They're just not good. So I'm going to read some of this now finish it tomorrow and then i treated myself today at shopping where is my bag <laughs> where did i put my bag what don't and i've got myself a cheeky little thing oh my god i should have got a bookmark oh i think with that half my brain sometimes so this i bought today so this was on my list for someone to get me oh my god so Sam, my boyfriend, is getting me 20 books for my 20th birthday, which is in November. I'm so excited and thankful and I, I just <laughs> can't even put it into words. But this was on that list, imagine me. So I've taken it off the list and I've put down instead. I think I've just left it with the novellas because I can read this series without novellas and go back and read the novellas. So I'm going to finish Defy Me today and tomorrow. And then I'm going to pick up Imagine Me, which is longer and it's the final book 
I got Sam to skim read the ending and he said it's got a good ending, so I'm a bit nervous, but we shall see. There are 450 pages, give or take a few. So it is bigger than the, the other one. Oh, hi Sam. Hello. Let's talk about you. Um, so it is bigger than Defy Me, but I can still do it. Hi. It's tomorrow if I read that much, because hopefully I can get through 100 pages now. Between now and midnight, hopefully. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello. So it's the next day. It's currently Wednesday. I don't know why it's been the phone, I forgot what day it was. I'm about to go to uni for three hours and I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna read. I think I've got two chapters of this book, I've got about 10 minutes time to leave and I'm just gonna eat my breakfast. Today I'm going to the shops, so that won't take too long, so I wanna pick up some cargoes, I couldn't get them yesterday. And then I want to finish Defy Me. I did read 102 pages last night, so that was good, pretty good going. And I have about 200 and I don't, want, don't, don't know how many, 230, 260 pages left. I'm enjoying it. I enjoyed the last book. I do think my favourite book so far in the Jasmine series has been Ignite Me. So, yeah. I finished Defy Me, can't imagine me. I'm on page 117, I've just read my one chat. I've read one chapter, I can't get my words out, and I need to go to uni now. I'm in shock. So we've just found out loads of information about Warner and Ella, or Juliet, and the truth of how they knew each other, and it's just even more proof that they should be together, and I'm hoping they get together in the end, because everything we found out is just so, so much more reasons for them to be together. Oh, they're so nice. Hello, it is later on in the day. Last time I spoke to you guys, it was before I went to uni and I had just read a little bit more of that book. Finished it. I gave this book a five star. This is my five star read of the entire series. I absolutely loved it. As much as I like Ignite Me, I just felt like it was a 4.75 for me, but this book, this was definitely a five star. The amount of character building and the amount of backstory and information we got was just brilliant in this book. So in this book, um, Julia is finding out who she truly is, who she actually is, why everything's happened to her and why things haven't ab like added up. Why was she in that? like locked up for so long why was she the way she is why was she classed as like an experiment so all that obviously we've been questioning this entire time and that all got answered in this book juliet slash ella and oh my god i've never been kicking my feet harder and giggling like i can't even put it into words i was literally sat on the edge of my bed going <laughs> I was just so excited. This book was from three people's perspectives, which I loved. We got Kenji's perspective, Ella's perspective slash Juliet, and Warner's perspective. And I just loved that because I love seeing the perspective of those three characters. Those three characters are my favorite characters of the entire series. This book, the main focus was obviously all the information and everything, but I also feel like this book was so much more graphic. Like we saw more of the actual torture that Juliet slash Ella went through and we see the lengths that the re-establishment will go to get information from people with gifts or the unnaturals as they call them it's just quite a graphic book i'll be honest it's the most graphic one out of all of them in my opinion it's the, the one that made me go oh so if you know that you're going to be a bit squeamish about things like that and you're a bit makes you uncomfortable hearing about people being tortured and things it makes anyone uncomfortable but if it makes you especially like uncomfortable and affects you maybe just go into this book knowing a bit more about it than just an overview maybe like look into it a bit more look at some reviews um i will be putting up a good read to review i need to go back through and review all the books i've read recently because there's loads of books i just haven't really reviewed on goodreads i've just put like whatever stars it is about juliet's parents or ella's parents and we found out about warner how Warner and Ella's lives are intertwined, which is so amazing. We find out about all the process that the re-establishment went through, all the stuff they went through, to try and make sure that Ella didn't know her past. It's it's ridiculously insane how like the lengths they went to. And 
that being fit into 360 pages just it's worth a five star for me that you can write it in such a concise way and give me so much information and make me just not want to put this book down and not get bored five star 167 of this imagine me and i'm gonna be honest it is a bit of a slow one this one we're seeing more of emmeline um and that whole thing and the fusion that's meant to be happening but i don't know if it is that's all i can say without giving too much away about that and um I don't know, I'm not a big fan right now because I feel like it's really slow. Like there's things happening but there's just not things that I'm interested in right now. I just, I just need, I need action and I'm 167 pages in so far so I, just, I need something. I feel like I prefer the chatty books, the, sh the short ones if I'm honest. Okay, proper update time. So, I, mm, I'm on page 170 right now. I have got a grand total. <laughs> A grand total of 400 and trying to find out how many pages are in a book without swirling the ending is so hard. 100 and 450 pages. So we have just under 400 pages, just under 300 pages left to read. I'm adamant I'm going to read it tomorrow. I just feel like I feel like tonight is the night to read this book and get it finished once and for all. I just want to I want to be done with this series all a bit negative. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I. I'm not really into it right now. Right now, there doesn't seem to be an ounce of hope or an ounce of positivity or any chance of them really winning, winning against the re-establishment, which I always loved in the other books that there was always like that hope, that glimmer of hope, that spark that there was like, wait, this person has got it like to a T, they're going to help fix the situation. In this book, I haven't felt anything like that. And it's such a disappointment because Defy Me was an amazing book. That was my five star read. And of this entire series as well so i just feel like this book so far i'm not really enjoying and um it's disappointing me so far because i really really wanted to enjoy this book it's the last book okay little update i am on page 315 i've been reading for it's now 10 o'clock so that oh about 20 past 10 so two hours and i've read pretty much 200 or so pages that's not right getting into the good bit now i'm a bit conflicted so on tiktok everyone kept talking about a relationship that happens in this final book between two very unlikely people it's not a good relationship this relationship that shouldn't happen and i've finally seen it and i'm now like oh oh okay well that's not what i was expecting but at least that makes more sense than what everyone online was making it out to be so i'm very glad to see the relationship and why it happened I'm glad to see the relationship but i'm glad to see the reasoning is better than what i expected so right now we're about to see we've just had all the build up and like the explanation of what's happening and um the plan to take down the re-establishment is getting there they're making the plan and they're about to go and try and take down the re-establishment take back power and basically to rule themselves it's really tense right now i don't know what's going to happen at the end i'm quite nervous again warner's character is still a bit wishy-washy and it's doing my head in because he was so headstrong in the other in the other books and in this book i don't know why he's just like he's not got any fight in him and it, it's annoying <laughs> it's doing my head in a little bit because it's the last book as well i am doing this book in sections so i've been doing it in like 50 pages 50 pages and right now i'm doing 100 so i'm doing 100 pages so i'm going to get to page 400 take a minute break and then i'm going to read 50 pages to finish the book so i'm going to finish this tonight i've decided i have only got that much left and usually i read 150 pages in a night anyway so and i'd usually start about now anyway so it's definitely doable I am enjoying it, I won't lie. It's not my favourite book out of all of them. My favourite is still Defy Me and Ignite Me. I don't want to say that this is worse than Unravel Me, but I definitely preferred Shatter Me to this. As of right now, I preferred Unravel Me, mainly because of the second half of the book with Warner and Juliet. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm going to rate this book or anything yet, but we will see. Finish the book. It's half 11. It took me a grand total of an hour to finish the book. I don't think that's worth like bad or anything that's pretty good going for me and i would have to say i did enjoy this book it definitely picked up after i said like i was hoping it to pick up because it was dragging a bit once so i hit page 300 the pace picked up and it made sense i do feel like this book could have been 100 pages shorter 
I'm just gonna be honest about that because I do feel like a lot of it was very dragging at the start and I just wasn't I don't want to say I wasn't interested because I wasn't interested but I wasn't enthralled and as soon as the pace picked up it was good. Warner actually became a badass again which I was very happy about because Warner is a badass and I just don't know why he wasn't for like the first half of the book really did my head in and Kenji what can I say about Kenji? I love Kenji he's adorable he's a sweet person and I think he's brilliant he's my favorite character. Between Anderson and Juliet was very interesting and that whole dynamic I actually really enjoyed watching it was very strange at first but then like by the time the whole thing comes to a close it just it does make sense like what's happening the way that like somebody realizes the impact that this person has on other people's lives and that they are a real person they are a person who deserves to live deserves to survive so just ignore TikTok when they're all like oh my god the fact that the relationship between Julia and Anderson started in the last book. There isn't a relationship. I'm just gonna put that out there now. That's not true. Because I was panicking. I was like, oh my god, if I spoil the entire book, are they gonna end up like marrying each other? I'm just gonna say no, I'm gonna spoil it. No, they don't, because nothing that happens in the slightest. So loads of stuff does happen, but it makes sense in a way. Like it does make sense. And I actually was like, okay, I understand. And I was a bit shocked at the end, like the end of that journey I was like oh my god that made sense though so it was good um also the closing of Emmeline and Juliet slash Ella's story was really good I really enjoyed that it did feel very um like a finally sort of moment like closure for Emmeline and it felt like this was the right thing to happen one of the many books I'd like to read is um, the Akata series. I have put it on my Christmas list and my mum has hinted heavily that I may be getting that for Christmas and I really really want to read Akata. It's just a series that everyone bangs on about on TikTok, okay? But then also book um, two people talk about it and the covers look beautiful. It's fantasy and I'm, I really like fantasy. Fantasy? Is that what people call it? I can't remember. <laughs> I don't know. We read a bit of fantasy books so I really want to read Akata. But also, this is what I'm on about with the book slump. I'm really glad I'm getting out of my book. I'm really glad I'm getting out of my book. Oh my god. I'm really glad I'm getting out of my book slump because one, I want to read Akata and those are quite big books. But I always also want to read a, is it called like a throne? Something of glass. Oh my god, what is it called? A throne of glass? Something? I know what I mean. You need to have a book slump fully, and I feel like I am, and that's good because with books that are that big, you have to really get out your book slump because they can throw you in a book slump. But if you're already in one, it can be hard to get out of one with a book that big. Hello, it is the Friday, and I have actually started this book. I'm enthralled already. I love this book series so much, and I'm just so excited to read this whole book and move on to the the other Grishaverse books so there's Shadow and Bone, Something of Wolves, like King of Scars, King of Wolves, I'm not sure, I don't know what's happened to Enedge because the end of the first book Enedge was taken and I just need to know if they get her back or not and Kaz, he is going to go rampant trying to get her back, I just know it. 560 page book so it's going to take me a bit of time to get through, I'm hoping I can get through it this weekend and this probably might be my last book Okay, it's still Friday, it's 12 o'clock at night, and I have been reading a different book. So I've started King of Wrath uh, by Anna Huang, and I've been wanting to read this book for ages, like honestly ages, because I love the Twisted series like so much, and I've been getting back into looking at the Twisted series on TikTok. The Twisted series on TikTok again has been coming up on my for you page like so much, and I couldn't help it, I was like, I need to read the Twisted series. I was meant to read Flawless, but that's still my TBR. But King of Wrath, I really, really just wanted to read it. And I'm 67 pages in so far. Read it on my Kindle. And I think that's pretty good going for now. I need to redecorate my Kindle actually because this is what my Kindle looks like right now. It's all Gilmore Girls themed. Some of the things have slipped down because they're not stickers, they're just a piece of paper. So I'm gonna print out some more stuff when I get home next, next time from uni and get some Halloween ones, I'm thinking, because like to decorate it a bit halloween themed the wrath is about it's an arranged marriage that's the trope so you have the character dante cruz 
Cruz, where did I come from? Dante Russo. Character Vivian. So Vivian's family are not from an old money family. They're from a new money family who are looked down upon. And Dante's family come from a rich old money family. And so there is a blackmail happening to Dante and Dante, something's happening in Dante's life where Vivian's father is holding that against Dante and forcing this arranged marriage on them. They hate each other right now. Dante has been a complete ass and he's Italian, to intervention. And Vivian's just not liking him. She's trying her best to make light of a bad situation and they kind of hate each other. But there's a spark, there's heat. Of course there is, it's Anna Hang. And it's spicy. I'm really enjoying it so far. And it's only 67 paces and they're already like, the spice is there. It's already right there. <laughs> I'm really enjoying it and I'm hoping that I'm gonna get through this pretty quickly because Kindle reads I tend to get through quite quickly anyway. Not that I don't get through normal books quickly anyway, I've read like what three books already? Okay, it's the next day. So yesterday I ended up reading about a hundred and ten pages give or so. That's not an awful lot, but I read twenty two pages from the Crooked Kingdom and then I kind of was in the mood for a romance and I was just feeling a bit like I've read so much fantasy and so much dystopian recently. I just really needed a romance in my life for a bit. So I started King of Wrath and I'm really enjoying it. I'm reading on my Kindle and I've not read on my Kindle for a little while now. And I'm about 30% into the book so far. I'm really enjoying it. I really do like this trope of arranged marriage and, um, you know, you kind of like force proximity. It's just, it's really good so far. I'm really enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I'm about 100 or so pages into it so far. It's about 350 pages, so it shouldn't be take me too long. Today, I want to read a good chunk of it later on. I'm going to hopefully read 200 pages and um, potentially try and get close to the end of it. And then tomorrow will be my last day of the challenge. Hello. So today is actually Sunday. It's not Saturday. I didn't film on Saturday. And um, I'm going to talk you through what's happened Saturday and Sunday. So yesterday and today. And um, talk you through what I've read. And I finished a book. It's currently about one o'clock right now. And I have read today and I read yesterday. I've been reading two books and I've read, well, I finished one of them. So I started off with Crooked Kingdom and I got some bookmarks by the way which I really want to show you because they are so adorable. So first of all I got this one which is in my Crooked Kingdom book because it just fits the aesthetic. Sam got me this and it's just like a map sort of bookmark and then it's got this little tassel on it and it just, I'm going to show you it in the book, it just suits the book so much. So I read 22 pages of this book. Now I did intend to read this book non-stop and finish it that didn't happen. <laughs> um, I started reading it and I am enthralled in it. I am interested. But at the same time, I was like, I really need a romance book. So I started King of Wrath. I finished it. So I started that on Friday, I think. I read King of Wrath. Yesterday, I read 133 pages. No, yesterday, I read 160 something pages. And today, I read 133. So I finished the book and those page numbers sound like wrong the day i finished this this morning i read it for two hours and finished the book so uh what do i think about this book i read this book because i've been wanting to read the rest of the twisted series basically kings of sin is the spin-off series from the twisted series it's in the same universe but it's like a new group of girl mates which is what twisted series was all centered around was four girlfriends and the boys they fell in love with and this one um so far is centered around there's one story centered around oh what's her name dante and oh my god vivian and then the next book is centered around kai and isabel i think or isa as they call her but the second bookmark i got by the way which i forgot to show you i got a load of them i saw a bag of six sam got me and they're magnetic bookmarks and they've got cats so when you have them in the book you can just see their heads popping out i just think that's just so adorable i'm such a cat person thing of wrath i rated it personally a four and that's pretty low on the scale for like twisted books. I think that's the lowest rated twisted book I've rated. It's not necessarily bad for, it's still a great mark, but um, 
personally i just felt like i was missing a bit of the intensity i thought like, the story was a bit too easy so the story follows vivian and dante and they are put into an arranged marriage where vivian's dad has forced her to marry dante and he is blackmailing dante with a very scandalizing picture of his brother and dante can't risk this picture coming out because there will be crazy repercussions for it and so he agrees to marry vivian the whole time he is trying to work with christian harper who is in twisted lies and he is trying to find this image get it destroyed so he doesn't have to marry vivian obviously he falls in love because it's a twisted book and vivian doesn't know about the blackmail she knows that it's an arranged marriage that like he's not happy about it but she doesn't know about the blackmail there's the there's the thing that oh we can't be together because of this as there always is in the romance and um yeah it was pretty decent I enjoyed it personally. I felt like it was a good way to get me back into the Twisted series, this book, considering the Twisted series came out quite a while ago and I read it quite a while ago so that were mentioned. And I just really, really enjoyed how many references we got to the other books in the Twisted series. So the main references we got were for Stella and Christian, they were in this book, and Bridget and Reese. Let's get back into the flow of reading because when I start reading Akatar, it's a big series. Like it's Akatar, then the Throne of Glass, and then Crescent Moon yeah i've enjoyed the books i read this week i've really really delved back into reading and i feel like i've finally getting out my book slump okay it's what is that oh my god i like scratch myself i don't know what that is okay i'm finishing the video now and it's sunday night at eight o'clock at night and i'm definitely gonna read in a bit but i just want to finish the video enough now but instead of forgetting and then tomorrow being like i didn't finish the video sorry monday i read 100 435 pages and i finished the book restore me uh, this book was by Tahara Mafi. I really enjoyed it. I gave it a 4.75. 4.5? I think it was a 4.75. And that's a physical book up there. I then on Tuesday read 55 pages of Define Me. And Wednesday I read 308 pages and finished it. And I gave that book a 5 star. I then read 86 pages on the same day of Imagine Me. And I finished Imagine Me on Thursday and read 364 pages gave that book a 4.5 star friday i read 82 pages of king of wrath and 22 pages of crooked kingdom and then yesterday i read 165 pages of king of wrath and finished it today and read 133 pages of king of wrath and i finished up i then read 14 pages of crooked kingdom and 41 pages of king of pride that's the video i hope you enjoyed in total i read a grand total of four books and i started two more books on top of that i hope you enjoyed i'll see you guys with another video subscribe please subscribe and do all that good stuff and i'll see you guys soon bye